guys, welcome back to my channel. Sarah here, aka Zino P. I film about beauty, faith, lifestyle, vlogs, and education. And if you see me for the first time, welcome to this channel. I hope you like it enough to subscribe by the end. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're the real MVP. Today I'm going to be doing the chit chat get ready with me. I'm going to do my makeup while chit chatting with you guys on trendy topics, things happening around us, things on my mind. I would just like to share just just thing with you guys basically. I've missed filming and I'm glad I have this time to do this. Okay, so please you know the drill. Like this video, leave a comment, a nice comment. It helps me grow. We're seeing the growing stage of this channel. And growing never stops, you know. So do well to help me by sharing, like, commenting, and subscribing to this channel. And without further much talking, let's get into this. I really don't know exactly the look I want to come up with. I'm breaking out PMS. Yeah. So just in case you're wondering. Okay. How's everyone doing? I always like to ask even if i don't get direct response but i always like to ask hmm? how is everyone doing i'm using this primer from classic that almost run out and see this primer there are not many influencers or makeup artists raving about it i don't know if they use it low-key but it has really helped my oil control you know i have combination oily skin it has really helped and it helps my makeup last around my nose so i switched up recently it's quite small doesn't last more like i've been using it for less than two weeks and i'm out so i have to fully stock i wish there was a bigger size but there's not so i have to make do with it i have oily eyelids so instead of just relying on eyeshadow primer I use my normal face primer to prime my eyelids. Is that a tip you're going to pick from this video? I hope you do. And you can try it out to help your eyeshadow last all day. But it's a Monday and I'm on break. Hence why I'm filming this video. If I have to talk so much, I think it will be long. And I'm trying to make it as short as possible. So I'm not going to be talking about my makeup. I might just show it on the screen or leave the name on the screen. And then let's get into it. So I have a few topics that I just wrote down that I want us to discuss. Not really topics, topics per se. These are just trending. Yeah. And I'll just share my one cent. The first thing I have written here <laughs> is Kenny Otegola and Mr. Easy. Let me get this out of the way. Engagement, yeah. I'm guessing you have seen that by now. I don't know when I'm going to put this up, but everyone would have seen that by now. If it's your cup of tea, and really, I'm happy for them. It's been a long, long time coming. I think I, I read somewhere they said they've been together for five years, yeah, five good years and that's not bad getting to know each other and finally it's that easy if you're ready to make her wifey and i've been seeing i think my mirror was so high up i've been seeing a lot of funny memes and posts around it saying oh how that but they don't like allowing his daughter to get married to someone that keeps dreads <laughs> and you your dear being picky and stuff we've been seeing the memes if i find some i'm going to oh my gosh oh my. if you hear the background noise please ignore you can all be perfect let me finish blending my foundation real quick and I'll be back. So, I'm back. Like, I had a lot of hairs in the way. 
that's why I decided to step back and blend it out. One major reason why I like to do my makeup without my wig. I would have done that, but my hair is a complete mess. Yeah. So, talking about Tammy and Fedola and Mr. Easy, happy for them. Yeah. And my prayers are everyone, every girl on my channel, trusting God for something like that. Have your heart desires granted by God. This is just me. So, I applied foundation on my eyelids because I just want to call it, um, cancel out the darkness there. I do not want to color correct, so I just did that. I've been using this concealer from FM. I have a love hate relationship with this. <laughs> Yellow. So going back to my love of war, which is quite red. Just gonna use that. That's a lot of concealer. That's a lot of concealer. Okay, next up on my list, this sad story that happened to. Sister Tunachi, I know you know her. She's the one that sang Requeni, and it's quite a sensitive topic that I feel everyone shouldn't weigh in on because I know how social media can be. Everybody just picks the available topic to weighing their thoughts some with good intentions and others just to trend so i don't really like to talk about certain topics but this one was quite sad like it's quite very sad and we've seen a lot of people come up to say oh she should have or gone left the marriage she shouldn't have stayed praying like honestly i just feel everyone shouldn't be too quick to judge if you don't wear the shoe you really don't know where it pinches like there are some things you shouldn't just run to say like this is a mother now and you know how mothers can really get with their children a lot of mothers have endured bad marriages for the sake of their children and when you ask them to take a vow they always say who is going to take care of my children you know unfortunate that this thing happened to her it's not really easy except you really know like what happens to a person suffering from a toxic relationship physically and emotionally being abused you can't really say much like it's a, a battlefield in their minds and most of them lose loses um lose excuse me their self-esteem in the process and there's this fear and it's a lot, it's a lot. It's not just easy to bounce. We know it's easy to just say you should have left, is it till the man kills you? And it's not really easy. Well, though I know the place of prayer, but I also know that we shouldn't quick to judge. We shouldn't be quick to judge. I'm not here to talk about why I think she should have left the marriage or abuse the man i'm just saying that when people weigh in on sensitive topics like this we should really sit back to think i know there will definitely be clash of opinions because we're not all the same but until you wear the shoe you really don't know where it pinches nobody knows actually 
what was going on with her. But I just prayed for her soul. I pray that she finds rest. But I sympathize with the family. I feel really terrible for the children. I pray that God continues to uphold them. But while this is in the news and trending, and while try, I love this brush. If you're wondering, uh, uh, why are you using this brush that rubbed off? A few moments later. God, <laughs> it's been close to an hour. Honestly, these are part of the things that just frustrates me and hinders me from even thinking about filming. Aside time. So I'm going to try to project my voice because I might be faulty. And I think that's the reason why my camera couldn't start because every time I plug in the microphone, the camera stops. Nobody needs it. I'm just going to continue. At this point, I'm just going to plead with people that have family members or friends that you are aware you are going through one form of emotional trauma, um, not trauma per se, and a toxic marriage or relationship don't judge them tell them that you're there for them whenever you're ready to step out that's a lot of encouragement if you do not know don't go judging them and telling them you need to go you need to go right now literally just take it easy with them. I don't know if it makes sense. I don't know how many people are cursing me out right now. But take it easy with them. And I pray for everyone in such situations. I pray for the strength to be able to take a walk. I pray for the grace to be able to walk out and Pick up the pieces of your life and start again. I pray. So, previously, I'd even moved on from this topic and I was discussing something else. I was able to round up what I was saying properly, but with all the stress that I've gone through, it's been close to one hour 30 minutes from the last clip to this clip. It's been close to one hour 30 minutes, and I, I feel mentally exhausted honestly but i'm just going to try to continue so the next thing i want to talk about is the insecurity in northern nigeria if you do not know i live in northern nigeria kaduna yes where the heat is to be precise and Thank you to everyone, all my friends that are outside Kaduna that reached out to me to say, oh, seeing the news, I hope you're safe, I hope your family is safe. Thank you, God bless every single one of you. So, it's not been funny. It's not been funny. I have a video here on my channel where I talked about how to stay sane in an insane world, world and most of that video was centered around the happenings, around the killings, around that it really messes with your mental health. Depressing. It's very depressing. And if you're not careful and really mindful of what you let into your head, you're eventually going to get so I'll link up that video, you can watch it. You know where it's safe right now. And we pray for the wisdom of God upon our leaders on the next step to take to crop this menace. Honestly, um two days ago I saw on the news that some of these 
bands were repelled by the soldiers. I saw not on the news, not on TV, and I say the news, I don't mean on TV, on social media, they were repelled by soldiers. And God, you need to see how these people look. I really sympathize with the families of everyone affected. I personally know someone that was affected on the train. Most of you would have heard about the train incident, the airport incident in Kaduna, the house to house abductions in Southern Kaduna. Like, it's terrible. People living in fear, people not able to sleep with their two eyes closed because you don't know. You hear little sound and you're fidgeting. This happened to me a few days ago and I later found out that it was NDLEA officials that raided somewhere close to my house. But at that time, when I heard the gunshots, I was super scared. I turned off my light because I was working on my laptop. I turned off my light and I was like, God, just take control. Just take control. I was so scared. And I said, when everything normalized, I just started to think about those that are affected, like those are abducted before the abduction. What's their last moment like? Those that were killed, ah, the fear and everything. Like these evil guys should not be well with them. Should not be well with them and their generation. Yeah. For the thing they've caught to families, innocent families. Not even something I enjoy talking about because it can give me anxiety but it's not even funny at all always pray for Nigeria don't get tired of saying oh Nigeria everything prayer 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 I don't be want to say that because I believe prayer has really helped us as a nation That's basically all I have to say. <laughs> I lost my ginger, my moral. I started this video with. Um, I'm just quickly going to line my lips. Okay, yes, this makeup finally is all done. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. I really apologize for the breaks, for the stops, for how this video went. It was not the plan from the get go. It was supposed to be a really fun one, a really chatty one. And just like I explained earlier, they have, there are things beyond my control that made everything turn out as it did. But I'm hoping that you still enjoy bits of it. And if you did, do well to like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know how this whole thing that I shared in this video affects you. Weigh in. I want to know your thoughts, really. Please do well to leave that in the comment section. Let's. I'll be in the comment section replying, as I always do. Share this video with your friends. And subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Guys, welcome back to my...
Hi guys, welcome.